Hi friends, this is Naveen from AKN Sprint Education. Welcome to our YouTube channel. The topic that we are going to look today is the most important former questions from the subject physical science. As I am expecting this year, this among these two questions, one question they will ask Paka that is how do you correct the eye defect myopia or else how do you correct the eye defect hypermetropia children this was the most important question you read these two questions at least one question you'll get so coming to question number one how do you correct the eye defect myopia a person cannot see objects at long distance but can see nearby objects clearly this type of defect is known as myopia or nearsightedness once again children what do you mean by myopia a person cannot see at long distances but can see nearby objects clearly this type of defect of vision is known as myopia and the second point so children no need of uh, reading everything the first point is what do you mean by myopia and the second point how to correct this defect of vision this defect can be corrected by using biconcave lens of suitable for as shown in the figure okay you write down this letter how to correct the eye defect myopia by using biconcave lens and then you need to draw the diagram children so this is our uh, figure a see here a person cannot see objects at long distances because it forms an image in front of the retina okay due to that reason we need to use uh, biconcave lenses see here we are using biconcave lens so that the ray, the rays are going to uh, match at on the retina okay children this diagram is important you need to draw this diagram as well as this diagram so, okay the figure b is i with myopia defect here figure is i with myopia defect it forms before the retina so whenever we use the uh, biconcave lens what it will do they will diverge okay they will diverge the rays right so here you are going to get the image so children no need of reading everything what is the definition of myopia and this defect can be corrected by using biconcave lens of suitable power okay you know to draw the diagrams now coming to second question explain the correction of eye defect hypermetropia what is the second question defect of hypermetropia what is mean by hypermetropia a person can see distances object clearly but cannot see nearby objects clearly this type of defect is known as hypermetropia or also we call it as far sightedness far sightedness a person can see distant objects clearly but cannot see nearby objects clearly this type of defect is known as hypermetropia right also we call it as far sightedness right now how can we correct the eye defect hypermetropia this defect can be corrected by using a biconvex lens of suitable power okay here if you observe here where you are going to get the image behind the retina here behind the retina you are getting so as we need to get the image on the retina so that's why we need to use which lens here we have to use we have to use which lens children biconvex lens here here we need to use biconcave lens concave lens it will be like this convex lens it will be like this okay so if you remember the definition and correction and you need to draw the diagram you need to draw the practice the diagram children if you draw the diagram if you mention that two points easily you will get four out of four no doubt at all this is our damn sure question this year and one more important question among this state the difference between convex and concave mirror or else distinguish between real and virtual image among these two questions they will ask pakka one question no doubt at all children see now 
डिफरेंस बिटवीन कॉन्वेक्स एंड कॉन्के मिरर कॉन्वेक्स मिरर रिफर्स टू द मिरर हुज रिफ्लेक्टिंग सरफेस इज अवे फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर ऑल्सो वी कैन राइट इट एज एज फ्रॉम द डेफिनेशन ऑफ टेक्स्ट बुक कॉन्वेक्स मिरर इज द मिरर हुज रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेस इज कॉन्वेक्स इन एंड वेर एज कॉन्के मिरर इज द मिरर हुज रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेस इज कॉन्केव सर्फेस here you can write convex surface here you can write as concave surface center of curvature lies behind the mirror here center of curvature lies in front of the mirror so it may forms real uh, sorry it may forms virtual erect and diminished image irrespective of the position of the object convex mirror always gives us virtual erect and diminished image but whereas concave mirror it some it may give sometimes real inverted image except when the object is placed between pole and focus when you place an object between pole and focus you'll get virtual image it is used as a rear view mirror in cars and bikes which is the most important question convex mirror is used as a rear view mirror in cars and bikes but whereas it is used as a reflector in projectors search lights etc its magnification is positive only its magnification may be both positive and negative here magnification value of the mirror lies between 0 and 1 magnification value of this mirror may be less than equal or greater than 1 so children each and every point is important point only uh, when i was repeating even you also read and also you write in a piece of paper so that you will remember okay next coming to second question distinguish between real and virtual image which is also the most important question real image is the formation of image due to actual intersection of the reflected rays so this is the most important point due to actual intersection of the reflected rays here virtual image is the formation of image by extending the reflected rays backward when we produce them towards back hand side you will get a virtual image the rays of real image meet at the image point the rays of virtual image appear as diverging from the image point third question third point these images can be obtained on the screen these images cannot be obtained on the screen these images appear as inverted these images appear as erect the these images can be diminished magnified or same size of the object depending on the object distances these images are always diminished irrespective of position of the object these can be seen directly on the screen without looking into the mirror these are visible only in the mirror so example of real images image formed by the concave mirrors uh, virtual images image formed by the plane mirror and convex mirror one more important expected former question why should we balance a chemical equation children which is also most important question a chemical equation need to be balanced to follow the law of conservation of mass this was the most important point a chemical equation needs to be balanced to follow the law of conservation of mass what is law of conservation of mass according to law of conservation of mass when a chemical reaction occurs the mass of products formed should be equal to the mass of reactants consumed see here when a chemical reaction occurs the mass of products formed should be equal to the mass of reactants consumed this represents that atoms are neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction a chemical equation in which the number of atoms of different elements on the reactant side i mean left hand side are same as those on product side is called a balanced equation children we need to write one equation also for example you see cu plus o2 is gives rise to cu for example you see here cu plus o2 is gives rise to cu is it a balanced equation no children because on lhs number of atoms of oxygen is 2 but whereas on right hand side we have only one atom of oxygen so we need to balance this equation so in order to balance this equation we need to add coefficient 2 over here then this will become 2 cu and 2o so again a copper atoms imbalanced so i again i need to add 2 over here in our previous video as i discussed how to balance the chemical equation once we watch that video as well as children so why should we balance a chemical equation means you need to write that four points as well as you need to write one equation one more important question 
why do we prefer a convex mirror as a rear view mirror in the vehicles this was the most important repeated question we use convex mirror as a rear view mirror in the vehicles because convex mirror always forms virtual erect and diminished image irrespective of distance of the object so children second point is the most important point driver can able to see the wider view of traffic behind him through convex mirror as it forms highly diminished images though objects are at some distances they are seen as closer by using convex mirror this helps the driver to take some early actions okay so this is the important question explain the image size when magnification is 1 when magnification is less than 1 when magnification is greater than 1 when magnification is 1 image distance is equal to object distance when magnification is less than 1 image distance is less than the object distance when the magnification is greater than 1 the image distance is greater than object distance one more important question why do we use antacids what is its nature antacids are used to get relief from acidity problems indigestions and sometimes even headache these antacids neutralize the excess acid in the stomach as they are basic in nature students which is the most important question antacids are used to get relief from acidity problems indigestion and sometimes even headache these antacids neutralize the excess acid in the stomach as they are basic in nature one more important damn sure question write any four uses of washing soda the uses of washing soda are as follows sodium carbonate i mean washing soda is used in glass soap and paper industries it is used in the manufacture of sodium compounds such as borax it is used as a cleaning agent for domestic purposes it is used for removing permanent hardness of water children one of the most important diagram draw the experimental setup to verify that v by i is a constant for a conductor children you need to draw this diagram as this diagram consists of battery ammeter switch conductor uh, maintaining potential difference between the conductor and direction of flow of current see children here b represents battery a represents ammeter to measure the current v represents voltmeter k represents key and c represents conductor children you need to draw this diagram which is the most important diagram and one more important question is write the two precautions to prevent corrosion of metals in your daily life following are the two precautions to prevent corrosion of metals iron metals must be painted they must be coated with non rusting materials like tin and zinc by electroplating method what would happen if corrosion of metals is not prevented if corrosion of metals not prevented then with time the old metal gets destroyed due to corrosion the strength of the structure constructed using that metal decreases and at times the structure may also collapse if corroded metal piece piece a human skin it can have serious effects children without this question there would be no question paper at all that much important question this is right also they may ask write the difference between roasting and calcination roasting in this method ore is heated in the presence of air but whereas here ore is heated in the absence of air this method is mainly used for sulfide ores this method is mainly used for carbonate ores here oxygen is required for this process oxygen is not required for this process it is an oxidation reaction it is a decomposition reaction even though you can write in the presence of oxygen uh, 2Cu2S cuprous sulfide you will get cupric oxide and sulfur dioxide here calcium carbonate is gives rise to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide one more important damn sure question what is a periodic property how do the following properties change in a group and a period explain that is first one what do you mean by periodic property periodic property means when the elements are arranged according to their electronic configuration the periodic properties of elements in the periodic table reoccur at regular intervals 
such properties which reoccur are called as a periodic properties so we have the following properties change in group and period the first one is atomic radius so children what is the definition of atomic radius the distance between nucleus and outermost orbit of an element is taken as atomic radius it is measured in picometers children variation in group as well as in period as we in a group as we go down children in a group we need to go from top to bottom as we go down the atomic radius that is from top to bottom increases whereas in period decreases across a period from left to right so no need of reading everything here whatever is there so simply when you go through this table you can write easily you need to write first of all definition if you know very well if you don't know not an issue simply you write down what will happen in group and what will happen in period in group atomic radius as we go down from top to bottom atomic radius is increasing and in periods as we move from left to right atomic radius is decreasing the second one is ionization energy what do you mean by ionization energy the energy required to remove an electron from outermost orbit or cell of a neutral gaseous atom is called ionization energy also we have discussed in eight mark question the factors affecting ionization energy there you need to write definition as well as what do you mean by ionization energy the energy required to remove an electron from the outermost orbit of a neutral gaseous atom is called ionization energy as we go down from top to bottom ionization energy decreasing from left to right as we move it increases right next one electronegativity or also we call it as electron affinity the electron affinity of an element is defined as the energy liberated when an electron is added to it to its neutral gaseous atom variation in group as we go down in a group ionization energy decreases as we go from left to right in a period uh electron affinity increases right next last one is electronegativity of an element is defined as the relative tendency of its atom to attract electrons towards itself when it is bonded to atom of another element variation in group as electronegative value decreases as we go down in a group and increases along a period that is from left to right so children this table is the most important the first one is atomic radius increasing decreasing remaining all reverse decreasing increasing decreasing increasing decreasing increasing one more important question what are the factors affecting the resistance of an electric conductor explain any two factors the factors affecting the resistance the resistance of an electric conductor are nature of material temperature length of the conductor and area of cross section of conductor so children these are the four important factors that affects a resistance of an electric conductor and also they asked to explain any two factors as the temperature increases the resistance increases and vice versa as the material changes resistance changes this third point and fourth point is the most important points resistance is directly proportional to the length of the conductor i mean r is directly proportional to l fourth point is resistance is inversely proportional to the area of cross section r is inversely proportional to l by a so third point and fourth point are the most important point resistance is directly proportional to length of the conductor resistance is inversely proportional to the area of cross section what are the factors first one nature of material second one temperature third one length of conductor fourth one area of cross section of the conductor students they may also ask to draw the diagram of froth rotation and magnetic separation which is for four mark question and whereas uh, draw a neat label diagram of reverberatory furnace and label it neatly they are asking for two mark question as well as children you try to draw these diagrams as well as so children those who did not subscribe my channel kindly subscribe my channel like it share it with your friends children thank you